It's the highly anticipated OUA quarterfinal between the number two seed Carlton Ravens and the number three Ryerson Rams. Ryerson looking to defeat Carlton in the Ravens' nest for the first time in nearly five years. Composure for 40 minutes. We cannot go into today expecting to be perfect and then when we make a mistake, feel bad about it. Right? That's what makes this game awesome is it's imperfect all the time. But our response to any errors will be one of the most important things today. Tip-off is coming up next on OUA TV. and Rams going to be hosting Nationals this year, but looking to earn their way into the National Tournament. We were in the same position last year, having to play Carlton in the quarters, knowing that if we didn't host Nationals, this would be our last game of the season. I feel like I don't really need to say much. We know we're ready, we know we're prepared. Let's just play our game, and we got this. Yes! And we're underway at the Ravens' nest. Carlton controls the tip. Serino kicks it out to Madison Reed for three. Got it! Quick start here for the Ravens. Here's Reed again, driving, pulls up, gets the jumper to go. Carly Clark's gonna go to the bench as Gemma Ben Edward checking in. Robertson finds Ben Edward in the corner. That three is good. Coming off the bench and making an impact right away. Carlton with some great defensive pressure early in this ball game. Ravens leading by double digits now. Carly Clark just looking to find any answer to this early Ravens on. Cynthia DuPont drives into traffic, gets the tough layup to fall. Robertson's pass for Pasca is too high. But offensively right now, we're, we've got to just exhale, all right? Just relax, but get aggressive, okay? We're a little bit blind right now to everything that's happening and our timing's off. We gotta get in sync. Robertson driving, tries to go up at the right, too short. Ryerson Rams just not in sync. And meanwhile, everything just seeming to go right for Carlton in the first quarter. His home crowd is loud early on in this game. Bailey Robertson off a screen, steps back, gets the jumper to fall. Gilmore driving, leans into Scott, gets the left-handed shot to go off the glass. It is all Carlton here in the first half, dominating Ryerson on their home floor. And a tough first half for Ryerson down 38-17. They haven't been able to get anything going offensively. I, can, I know that you want it by saying it, but we don't show it because we're still, like we're not close to matching the compete level. It's not close. Like, we're gonna have to find a way to grind and, and figure it out, but we have a chance to do that. They shot it really well, but we've gotta come out way physically tougher and just composed and connected out there. Ryerson now with a big deficit as they try to chop into it heading into the second half. Siemens now steps back, puts it up. That one's good. Nice looking shot out of the half. Loose ball. Both teams hit the floor. The Rams come away with it. Kick it out to Teeman. Three. Yes. Corner three from Sora is up. And it's good. Ben Edwards spins off the defender. Puts it up off the glass. And that one's good. The Ravens looking to answer. Jola Care from the corner. Gets it to go. And the foul. And a 26 point advantage now for Carlton. Time starting to run out for Ryerson. And some uncharacteristic fouls from the Rams. Ryerson just breaking down here in the fourth quarter. And that stretch pass from Tiemens 
right through the hands of Fallis. It's just been that kind of night for Ryerson. They've struggled to find their rhythm all night long. And that will do it here from the Ravens' nest. Carlton advancing to the OUA semifinal by a final score of 74 to 49. So we have to keep our heads up. It was a tough one. Obviously, we all saw the score there. Um, but we just have to remember that this isn't the end for us. And obviously, what we did out there is not what we want and not what we want people to remember us by. But we have to keep our heads up because we are so much better than this. And thankfully, we have another chance to show it. I think we're all really excited. I mean, you talk about it all season, you're preparing for it all season, but then it finally arrives. And, you know, three of our players have been part of two of these events before, but it's a first for everybody else. It's definitely a surreal feeling for me walking into the arena and seeing the court. Hosting nationals is a great opportunity because some people don't even get to go to nationals in their career. Being able to practice on the court and like be able to get like shots up, we had a bit of an advantage to practice on the court a couple days before the other teams got there. All right, Tuesday, two days before game day. Yeah, great. Full practice today, a couple more people coming from class. But I think we've got four and one record against the teams that we've played that are here. So hopefully just find some way to build some confidence trust what we've done and uh, trust our preparation that we're ready to compete with anybody. You know, being the eighth seed, it's a number, right? If we want to win a championship, we got to beat every team along the way. We just move our championship game to, to day one of the tournament rather than day four of the tournament and we go from there. We will play with great pride and determination and, and really enjoy the opportunity to represent this great university. You know, seeing the court go down upstairs and being back on that, there's another like level that, that you can feel it's coming. Just being able to represent the university and have um, all the students come out and support us was what I was most excited about. And we knew we were going to play the number one team. Well, Laval for us was a big question mark. We hadn't seen them at all. That this is what we were working for. We were working for a national championship. We were going to be done on March 10th. And for, in the span of two hours, that all came crashing down. <laughs>